Okay, I'm going to show you how to use the cash and charges. There are two columns on the cash and charges um, that you can record either credit card expenditures or cash expenditures. And the way you do this is you would record who you paid here. and what it was for. Let's say it was for contract labor and it was for $678. Now if you paid them with cash you can put a C here for cash and the amount would be swung over into this column. As you can see $678 is under the contract labor column now I'm going to show you how it rolls up into the checks. By clicking on checks you'll see $678 is now under contract labor and if I go to the income and expenses you'll see cash and charge expenditures of $678 and the expense is up here on, under the expense categories. Now I'll head back over to the cash and charges and I'll record credit card purchases. Let's say I got my statement from Chase Bank and I had purchased some meals for $125 and some office supplies for $65. Now my statement from Chase should say it is $190, but I have noticed that I ex forgot to record my finance charge on the banks on the credit card statement, which I shall put here for $21. Now I'll head over to the income and expenses. You'll see $21 in interest expense and fees, 65 in office supplies, and 125 for meals. And if I head over to the account balance tracker, you'll see credit card purchases of $190, $21 in finance charges. Now let's take this one step further and go to the checks to record a payment to Chase Bank the following month to pay on my credit card. I put in my check number and I will scroll to the far right and I will put under this column called withdrawals, transfers, and payments to credit card companies. I will put my payment of $100. And now if we head over to the account balance tracker, you'll see the credit card purchases $190, $21 in interest, and my payment of $100. I have an ending balance with the credit card of $111. And that's it.